Hi, welcome to another quick tip video with me, Ben Voss, the writer of the Lightwave documentation. Okay, so today what I want to do is show you a quick depth of field tutorial. I'm going to start by adding a null. I'll call this one cube. And in object properties, I'm going to add a modifier, Let's just type row procedural geometry to get a cube. Bingo. Easy peasy. Let's move it slightly this way. Let's do the same again. Add a null, and this time I'll call it sphere. And I will do the same here. But this time I'm going to change it, surprisingly enough, to a sphere. And this one I want to move away from the camera. Long way away as it were. Right, so last null I want to make, I'm going to make one called DOF. And this is going to be what drives the camera's focus. So in the camera properties, which I have here, I'm going to go into the DOF tab. I'm going to turn on depth of field and I'm going to set my lens f-stop down to a stupidly low amount, 0.1. Uh, and I'm going to go into camera view. That's six on the numeric keypad. Uh, not there. Well, diaphragm size six. Why not? Uh, but here I want to go six. And everything is blurry now, which is which is fine. That's OK. Um, so here what I'm going to do is go into my envelope for focal distance, go to the modifiers and set proximity. Proximity I will set to my target, which will be the DOF null. And now when I look, the cube is slightly more in focus than the ball. If you don't see these blurry things, this is because in here, in this third drop down, you need to turn on DOF M blur preview. Okay, if I don't have that, then, um, whoops, if I don't have that, then things are just sharp if I do have that. Even if I don't have that, look, let's turn it off. You can still see the, the depth of field motion blur preview if I go into VPR. However, then you've got to wait for the render, as we can see here. And we don't always have time for that, especially if our scene's complex. So turning this on speeds things up dramatically. Okay, so what I have now is an envelope for the focal distance attached to my DOF null, which is this one right here. So what I can do is draw this back so the cube is more in focus. And we can do it like this and guess at it. Or we can also press F4 on the keyboard to show multiple views. I can also do It's been so long since I've done it, but I can also do it by going in here uh, or just closing this down and closing it up. Um, here I'm in the top view and I can see da, da, da. Oh, there's my sphere. Okay. So I'm in the top view. I can see my cube here. I can see my sphere here and this is my depth of field null. If I want to be sure that it's in the right place, I can just click it right here. And then we can see that my cube is super sharp at the front edge, but actually getting blurrier towards the back edge because my f-stop is set so low. Now all we need to do is move my transport a bit further along in the scene and then move my null to here so that we can see that we progressively shift focus from one object to the other. Like so. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. Okay, so have a nice day. Bye.